Hey everyone, it's Pete here from Blocks Builder, and this is just a quick video to tell you about our Easy Burger version 1.2 being released. So 1.2 is a free update for existing Block uh, Easy Burger users. Uh, there's new options, um, improvements to the way the user interface, the settings work. Uh, we've got better control of padding and, and radiuses. We now have borders and uh, the much anticipated custom text option. So this is a big update. So if you're an existing Easy Burger user, I want to encourage you to actually remove uh, the Easy Burger brick from your project um, after updating and then re-add it to your project because there's a bunch of changes and it just solves any potential problems that you may have. So uh, what I encourage you to do is to select the Easy Burger brick in your project and delete it. Simple as that. Also, just to come up to your project settings, to your attachment tag um, tab right there, and just double check that you don't have a JavaScript file called BB Easy Burger. And if you do, just remove it, because that may create some problems for you. Okay, so now we're ready to roll. If you've updated Easy Burger and you've got 1.2 installed into blocks, uh, you just need to add Easy Burger back to your project, and that's it. So uh, if you're a new user, this is where you're starting, adding Easy Burger to your project. Now at first glance, you won't see anything happen. There's nothing that will happen uh, with the toggle menu up here. It's only visible uh, in preview and when you export. And you can see our toggle has changed here already. That's uh, been updated with a font awesome icon. Okay, so let's check out some of the settings that are now available with version 1.2. I'm gonna select my Easy Burger brick here and on the right hand panel we see our options uh, we have the option to select our hamburger icon there's a whole lot of pre-selected um, options here or we can add our own custom font or some codes here uh, we can um, we can define the size of our icon and rims we can change the colors and the hollow hover cover a uh, color sorry we can set the transition between our normal states and hover states uh, we can select our background color and even our background hover color. We've now got an option of choosing our padding for our top, bottom, left, and right. Uh, we have full control of our radius, top left, top right, bottom left, and bottom right. We can set the width of our border and our border colors. Um, our drop shadow options, we can have uh, no drop shadows, drop shadows, uh, shadows only on the normal state or shadows only on the hover state and the much awaited hamburger text which you can enable with one click of a button like that and you can customize your text you can set the position before or after the toggle you can choose your own fonts and we've got some text properties here where we can choose the size of our text and rims our baseline option basically allows us to shift our text vertically up and down. We've got some letter spacing where we can increase the spacing of our letters and our margin allows us to set uh, the gap between our text and the toggle icon. We can increase that or decrease that to suit. We can also change the color of our text. Uh, by default it inherits the same colors as our hamburger. But if you do change to custom colors and you'll get these options available here, you'll also get an alert up here on the screen that you have to dismiss that will remind you that actually by selecting custom colors for your text, it will actually disable transitions. So um, that's a small technicality at the moment and that hopefully will be able to solve and we won't have to enable this, um, well, we won't have to disable transitions in the future. But for now, we have to. Okay. So we can choose our text there, and then we have our close icon style. We can now uh, choose uh, define a size for our close icon independent of the toggle, and we've got our thickness and our color settings, and also our offset for our sidebar. Uh, we've got a couple of new options down in our support option down here. Uh, we have an option where you can actually now just download the instructions. So this links you to a PDF, and let me zoom out of this. And this PDF, um, you can print, download, or just link to whenever you need to. Every option in Easy Burger, and you can go through there if you're unsure about something. 
And for the more technical minded at the very bottom, there is a chart here that gives you a breakdown of how the numbers work because uh, Easy Burger uses a nice mix of REMs and M's so that everything is simple, everything scales. Everything is relative to the size that you set the icons to and the text to. So it works really well. Okay, so the other option we have on our support is our con uh, contact button and that takes you through to the Blocks Builder website uh, to the contact page and you can send an inquiry there if you need to. Okay, that's a quick rundown of our new user interface and some of our new options. It's very cool. Uh, it's a very decent size update. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually create um, a nice little option here. So I'm going to disable um, our text for now. And I'm going to select the hamburger. I'm going to use my actual burger icon here. I'm going to change the size of my burger to 1.6 rem. And I'm going to change my colors here. It's my normal state and my hover state. I'm going to use this blue. I'm going to do a transition of uh, 0.6. I'm not going to use background colors here or padding um, or radius. Actually, I'm going to use some padding. So I'm going to give this a nice sort of border around it. So I'm going to add some padding of, say, um, 10. Uh, yeah, 10. Let's do 10. Top, bottom, left, and right. And I'm going to give this um, padding a nice little radius of, say, 5. And I'm going to set a border width of 1 pixel. And I'm going to set the same colors to what I set my toggle to. All right, if I have a quick preview of that, we can see now that I've got my hamburger icon and it's now got a nice border around it with some padding. It's very cool. Okay, let's add some text to this. So we're going to come down to our text option and enable our text. And if we go and preview this, straight away we'll see our menu text is default, um, but it's not st overly styled and there's no spacing set uh, between our toggle and our text. So we're going to make some changes here. Come down to our hamburger text options. We could choose to have our text before or after. So we, before it was before and after it's going to be after. It's pretty cool. Uh, and I'm going to change the size to match. I'm just going to do 1.6 as well. I'm going to keep the font the same, but you can select all the fonts that you've got in blocks. Now the baseline is our vertical shifting up and down. I'll give you an example of what that looks like. So if I go and preview this, uh, you can tell that our text is kind of in line with our toggle here. But for example, and this may happen with some fonts, if I change my text just to undercase, lowercase, and I'm going to change that back to before because I like that one better. So I've got my text back to uh, lowercase here. And we go and preview this we'll find that our text actually sits down low against the burger. We've got this gap up here, this white space here. Um, and that's because it's not using capitals. So what Baseline can do is we can actually shift our text up to um, bring it up into the center. So um, if I shift my Baseline up by one, let's have a look. And neat, that's now in the center there. That's really cool. Okay, I'm going to increase the margin there by two and let's have a look. That's looking neat. And I'm gonna increase the spacing of my text just by a little bit. Let's see if that's too much. That's all right, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna just change this from menu to uh, tasty. All right, we have tasty burger. And uh, just for some of the new users, if you've not used Easy Burger before, um, the offset option in our settings allows you to see, as you can see, our close icons rather in line with our navigation here. Our offset option will actually bring our navigation further down and create more of a gap here. So I'll just give you a quick look of what that looks like. So um, actually, I might change the size while I'm here of my icon to 1.6 as well. And I'm going to make it slightly thicker. I'm going to keep the colors the same. And I'm going to bring that offset up to about 3. 
Actually, I'm going to change the colors to match. Let's do a nice that same nice green and that blue. All right, let's have a look. So we've got our transition happening. We've got our icon up here. We've now got the offset for our text. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so I'm really excited about the different options that you guys are going to come up with, um, the designs. So feel free to post them in the forum. I'm really curious to the cool things that you'll come up with. And so that's a quick overview of Easy Burger version 1.2. It's released now. Have a play. Let me know what you think. Okay, take care.